Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we have built a jetliner. I'm really excited about this one. I'm still yet to really test this thing fully, but I've spent way too much time on this thing to just throw it away and if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. As if you if anybody has played Scrap Mechanic, you know there is not really any aerodynamic model. There's really Flight and scrap mechanic is really hard to achieve. The only thing you can do it with are these thrusters that I have all over the plane. Now, uh, I've modeled this kind of after a uh, Southwest, I think it's like Southwest Airlines jet as far as the colors. Uh, you notice I don't have any jets on the wings. Uh, they're all on the back flaps. There's a reason behind this. I tried the uh, the jets on the wings at first and it, just, it didn't work out. Um, I'm having more luck with actually having them on these flaps. Uh, you can see these little blocks around them. Those are actually to kind of stop the uh, flaps from rotating all the way. I've got a very interesting system that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, it's kind of actually, it came from the skid steering that I was using on tanks. Um, it actually works uh, to, you can work these flaps uh, almost like the way you should be working them. Now, it's whether or not they actually work is a, is a different story, but... Uh, let's go up in it. I'm going to kind of show you some other things. This is where the uh, landing gear is. Nothing special there. Uh, there's four electric motors here. Three of them work. Uh, for the fourth one is actually just for weight. Um, I initially was going to try to use four, but it actually didn't work. But uh, those things actually control the bearings. And let me light it up for you. There's bearings on these flaps. And they all wire back here to the front to the electric motors. Now, one of the motors goes up to the cockpit. That controls your uh, up and down on the flaps. The other two electric motors, which they're under here, they're going to go back here, and they actually go back. They're the ones that are connected to these bearings. And they go back, and they're connected to sensors in the back. Now, if you do these bearings a certain way, you can get a motion like I've got up, down on the flaps, and I've got left and right. They actually, like, one side will go down, one side will go up. There's just a way when you hook these bearings up, if you connect them the right way, and I'll show you what I did on the inside, because there's something special you have to do with the sensors on the inside to get this to work correctly. But, let's see, let me, uh, kind of go back under here. Like I said, those two motors there are connected to the sensor. This one is a dead one, and the one on the right is going up to the cockpit. So, uh, let's see. Let me go around. I've got the buttons all connected to the cockpit. This thing is really hard to control. I mean, there's not an easy way to do this in Scrap Mechanic at all. So, I, I'm probably not going to be able to barely fly this thing around, but there's a kind of theory that I'm working on. and I mean, It's not even a theory that you know I'm working on. Everybody's been trying to figure this out. And some people have done a really good job with some of the uh, smaller planes. Uh, there are the sensors in the back. Uh, I'm going to go inside here in a minute. And you'll see I have a bearing back there that's actually running up to the cockpit. There's a, there's a unique little system that you have to do. But yeah, I mean, some people have done a really good job with smaller planes. Uh, but I've still yet to see anybody with a really big plane be able to barely even take it off so I'm going to try to get as far as possible I, I still don't think I'm going to be able to pilot it you know how I need to but I'm going to give it my best shot so um, we'll do some minor tweaks I'm going to show you the inside here and explain some things alright here's the inside uh, here's where all the passengers sit uh, I wanted to make this like I wanted to make it look real. I wanted to, I wanted to have seats in here. I want to have everything in here. I, I didn't want to just have like a big hollow shell. That would have saved me a ton of weight. But I want there to be like a full interior. Here's the uh, bathroom. Oh, I did not. I thought I painted everything. Let's see. Let's go ahead and paint this roof real quick. All right. Oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and make the toilet wide. I'm, I'm barely going to ever open that door, but I want to make it perfect. So... Anyways, we're going to travel through here. Through here. It's kind of tight. Uh, I really want to get back to this area back here. Here's where the steward sit, or steward is, whatever you, whatever you call them. Uh, this is the area I need to explain. When you, I have this open up where we can look in here and see what's going on. I've, um, I'm housing some of the controllers in here. And don't worry about the paint in the back. It's not painted because some of that's the outside block and I can't mess it up. But there's the bearing that's hooked up to the steering wheel. That bearing goes left and right. It shifts that pipe over. And that pipe will cover up one or the other sensor, and that will activate one or the other electric motor. That creates that flap to offset to try to turn the plane. 
And then, of course, the third electric motor is the one that's actually connected straight to the cockpit. That's your up and down. Uh, it works really good in skid steering for uh, tanks. You can just turn right around and you can send tracks in the opposite direction. And I'm trying to apply the same thing for flaps in a uh, in a plane. And, and it does work. It's just a matter of actually being able to control it. You know, scrap mechanic, everything has to be mapped to keys. And it's it's a pain to control. So I'm going to show you the cockpit here. Let's uh, close that. But yeah, uh, it's just, it's neat. This build, I was... I almost gave up on, on it several times. Oh, I forgot to close that. Um, yeah, I have a little flap up here where I can get out. Uh, this thing's kind of hard to move around once you try to eject. But, uh, yeah, I almost gave up on this build several times. And like I said, I'm not guaranteeing this is going to work. I'm going to I'm gonna actually put it up for download. If you guys can, if somebody wants to work on it and see if they can do a little better job than me, then that's just fine. I have no problem with that. But uh, let's go ahead and hook this button up. And we'll go ahead and test this thing out. Uh, let's see. Oh, that didn't connect. But yeah, these cockpit. The cockpit. There's really not that many buttons, but it's you know kind of orchestrating them together to actually be able to control this thing, which is an absolute pain. So let's uh, get in and look around. Uh, get pretty decent view in here. I wish I'd have got the windows to the side a little closer, but uh, it'll do. Before we attempt flight, let me go ahead and show you the flaps working. I'm turning one way, and they go up and down, and if I, if I do it on the other side, it just flips it over, kind of like the way an actual plane works. But yeah, let's let's get ready to do this. Okay, we're going to tilt the flaps down. That should give us some lift. So we start, and it, I've got it where it rolls, and then I activate the bottom uh, jets obviously without the bottom thrusters and I've actually got one off I need to turn that back on the one in the front doesn't seem to actually be affecting it that bad but this thing wouldn't lift if I didn't have these uh, thrusters on the bottom and this is actually that took off it took off pretty good but I can tell it's it's unbalanced right now I need to go back over all the thrusters and make sure that they're all set even and plus that one in the front's probably hurting me a decent bit but yeah, it, it's really finicky once you get up here in the air and when you start to try to turn. Uh, I need, I'm going to tinker with the settings for the uh, actual electric motors in there. Because I need to... Whoa, here we go. See, this is, this is where it starts to get really hard. Um, oh, actually. Oh, it still floats. But yeah, um, it's just getting it... Like, there's a fine balance of being able to control it and... Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wanted to click that. How did that go through the wall? Okay, let's get back to the cockpit here. I don't know how that even happened. Are we still moving? I think we're actually still moving. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. How did they get out the back? Okay. Alright, uh, attempt number, I don't, I don't know which one we're on now, uh, I have to count it off, uh, I'm going to go over a lot of footage here, uh, I've still, I, you know, I meant to, I keep forgetting about that front thruster, I need to turn, actually, I'm either going to get rid of the uh, two, the two in the front actually might adjust up, and as I'm tilting to turn, I might just activate those front two thrusters, and that might actually help tilt the nose to turn, because when I start to ease over here, you know, I've, I've adjusted the uh, electric motors again, and this is a little bit better. But, you know, one of the issues I'm running with, running into is really, this area is not big at all. Like, I hit the end of the map really quick. And that's one thing that I know is just going to make this pretty much impossible to do. Um, as soon as I get up, and like, I'll, I'll walk this thing all the way across the map, and then when I get up, and now I'm stuck in the bottom... Let's make a hole here, but yeah, I'm going to go set it back up again. We'll try it again. All right, this is what I was talking about a while ago, about adjusting these electric motors. Uh, I'm going to kick them up a little bit. I think I went down too much a while ago. Uh, we're going to kick them up. These control the flaps uh, as far as when they turn left and right, or when I say left and right, when one, one goes up, one goes down. So I'm going to readjust those, and hopefully this will help it. Uh you know, I would like to build a set of stairs, but that would be a pain to move every time I want to try to fly this thing. So let's close that and let's try again. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Got the flaps. Flaps seem to be working. 
Got them tilted down here. There we go. It almost looks like there's a delay in one. I'm not really sure why. Actually, we might have an issue here. I'm going to have to go back out to the back. Uh, apparently, when I was uh, doing some switching here, I actually accidentally switched one of these back bearings, and it doesn't seem to be working anymore. So We'll get that switched around, and we'll try taking this thing off. I believe it's this one here. Yeah, this is just absolute maze of like lines, and it, it's completely lit up. It's crazy. Okay, yeah, there we go. Just got to wait for it to catch up now and get on the right track. Yep. All right, we are fixed again. I don't know how I got that off, but let's see. It's closed the hatch. The hatch is really just for me to escape. Like I said, scrap mechanic, when I eject, I get stuck in the roof. I've actually got a hole in the bottom now, and uh, I can, like, it sucks me out if I flip this thing over. I uh, fixed the front thruster, so we're good there. I, I've got them mapped to the, I think, the 5 key, and that should, see, like, right here, it's trying to tilt my nose. But actually, I turned that way too quick. Yeah, I just think this is... Okay, I, apparently every time I exit, if I'm in the thing, which I'm not meaning to exit, every time I exit, I, like, blow through the walls, so that's interesting. Uh, let's get out to flip this back over. Uh, where's the thing at? Oh. Okay, I got turned around here. Let's see. That is the... No, that's the bathroom. Uh, yeah, close that. Okay, here we go. All right, let's flip it back over. All right, let's give this another chance here. Uh, I've got everything fixed in the front as far as the thrusters. Um, I've been testing this thing for probably about an hour now, and... I feel like I make progress in some like ways and some ways I don't like it's really finicky and sometimes I over adjust things but um let's see let's go ahead and see there we go and there it starts to turn and see I overcorrect and that's that's my problem it's just too finicky for me to like press the keys and balance this thing out but uh like it wants to work and I'm pretty sure there's somebody out there that might be able to pilot this a little better than me I also think that I've got another cockpit seat beside me. I might try to get somebody else, and we can kind of wire this thing where two people can control it. And I think that might actually uh, help a lot as far as... Because, I mean, I'm, I'm just keyboard dancing over here trying to get this thing to uh, turn and stabilize and all that other good stuff. But uh, this is another problem. Every time like I get going, I run into the other side of the uh, map, and I've got to do this. For some reason, you cannot switch the... Uh, when you have it on the lift like this, you can't swap it around. At least, I don't think you can. Uh, I've clicked about every key trying to figure out how to do that, but apparently you can't. So, we're going to go run this back across the other side of the map, and uh, we're probably about... I'm probably pretty close to calling this uh, a day. I've, I've been doing this way too long, but... Um, I, like I said, uh, if you guys want to download it and attempt this, you know, that's that's up to you guys. I mean, you, uh, to me, it's still a fun thing to fly around. So, um, yeah, let me get over here. We'll set it up. I'll do some tweaks and make sure it's it's set up and try to get it stabilized. That way, if somebody downloads it, it's not completely, you know, going to throw them off. So let me go do that and we'll uh, wrap this up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, it's not one of those really successful builds, but I, I'm extremely happy with it. It's one of those things I'm proud of. It took me a while. So, uh, anyways, if you'd like to like the video, subscribe. We've got plenty more coming up. I've got an actual build coming tomorrow. I've got a hot rod build, so if you want to tune in for that. But uh, we'll see you guys next time.